I start all my mornings with this. It's the GI Revive. It kind of like lines my stomach because I don't have very good stomach acid, I think. My functional nutritionist recommended this for me and it's been great. I've been taking it for months, so. Good morning, about to go for a run. It's a little bit warm. I just spent like 10 minutes trying to find my sunglasses and they were just like underneath a piece of cloth. Probably only do like five kilometers because I swear, every time I run, I'm like, no, you need to do long distances. Like I said in my other video, I'm wearing like all black and I really, really like it. And then my shoes and my socks are like bright. I like it. Let's get going, shall we? is we like most days we'll go to the supermarket or the shop just to get like a drink or a few bits of pieces like fresh produce or something it's gonna do that and i also need to go to the post office because i have a parcel waiting which is very exciting This is the greatest smelling body wash of your life. It smells so, it smells so good. Here is the parcel that I picked up. Naked Harvest. They have come out with a creatine. This is Connor's stack. Oh, this is what she looks like. Now I am not the most educated person on creatine. I have taken creatine at one point in my life, but I definitely didn't take it for long enough and I didn't really like see it through or anything to see results. So basically in a nutshell, what creatine does, it's something that can help you build muscle. I think it's one of like the most researched supplements in that space. Don't quote me. It's really good for increasing strength, increasing your muscle mass, and also like optimizes your recovery. Because as a human, you have creatine occurring in your body naturally but obviously if you take creatine as well you're going to be adding to that again i'm not an expert in this even in the slightest i'm very very unfamiliar with creatine my boyfriend loves creatine though he swears by it and thinks it's like it's amazing and what it does is it increases the oh, let me see if i can pronounce this fossa creatine stores in your muscles so kind of feeding your muscles it does take a little bit of time to see a difference with creatine though that's why when i said i took it i didn't take it for long enough because it takes about a month for it to kind of fully start taking effect. But I am curious to give this a go. Now that I am back at the gym lifting and running, very, very handy for strength. And another misconception is you can't have creatine when you are on like a bit of a cut, which is what I'm doing right now. Not the case, you can definitely still have it. People think that you gain weight when you take creatine. Again, not the case. You might have a little bit of water retention, but it's, yeah, not really. This, when does this actually launch? Oh, today. 
I will keep you posted with how this goes. I'm also curious to see how it affects my gut health and if it has a problem with that. I don't think it would, but I'm very excited because it's such an extensively researched supplement. It's like on a pedestal in the world of supplements, you know? The code with Naked Harvest is Connor15 and that'll get you a discount off the website. But that is super exciting for Naked Harvest. And I love the packaging. Very, very cute. <laughs> I wish I could show, but I never call, and you're going all the way this year. Mm -hmm. If I could tell you, I don't think you believe how long I felt this way. I'm actually wearing the new Stax or Second Left Premium Seamless collection. I've only got two colors, but I really want to get my hands on like the really, it's almost like a ready orange color. It's so pretty because I went to the Stax event in Sydney on Thursday. This is one of the tops. It's kind of like a longer scoop neck and the back of it's a lot lower. And then these are the midi shorts. They also have mini shorts. They are really, really short. So if you're wanting like this type of length, go with midi. Because I know when you think midi, you might think it's like long, but they're not. They're like a good short length. Um, so yeah, this is kind of like the creamy vanilla color. I would say the difference between this and other collections, the fabric feels a little bit more stretchy. I feel like since I have a lot of like premium seamless, because that is my all-time favorite from Stax. I have like noticed all the little changes in the like fabric composition and stuff. Much more stretchy than previous years, which is good because it like lets you do the whole like pull it up your bum type of situation. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like it fits really nicely. I have both of these in a small, by the way. This is the other color I have. So it's, it's kind of similar to the other seamless tops like this, except it's got more of like a V. Let me just put it on one. Then these are the mini shorts. So they are like very, very short. I probably wouldn't wear these out of the house. I'd probably just wear them around the house. Or if you really like that short, short look, then Bob's your uncle. And the difference with this is it doesn't say stacks. It's a, it's second left, um, which is really cool. So, and I'm pretty sure it's a limited edition collection. Yeah, I feel like, I definitely think the fabric is noticeably more stretchy in a good way. Oh. Yeah, I really like that. I think that's so flattering. I might actually wear this to the gym instead, like this color. Very, very smooth, but like same premium seamless vibe. I think it's really flattering. I really love that they've made it more stretchy. You could even like swap this around the other way if you wanted less coverage in the front. My discount code actually could still be for 20% off. I'll leave it in the description box. And the collection's launching September 1st at 9 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. This is the fifth Session is done. 
just had another quick shower. These have been my favorite products at the moment. They are the Key to Skin Skin Serums. Of course, in conjunction with my gut health and all that jazz has contributed to my skin at the moment. I've been loving these for like the way my skin feels and like skin texture. So this one is, this is not sponsored by the way, <laughs> but they did gift me these products. This is the Mochi Skin Serum, which doesn't that just sound mochi skin serum it's got hyaluronic acid and niacinamide onsen water make sure your face is a bit damp if you put hyaluronic acid on by the way and then i also mix it with this which is the algae super serum <laughs> the algae super serum which has algae and more onsen water but i'm not very good at it. pronouncing i'm pretty sure this company is based in brisbane actually which is really cool little brisbane let's wet my face again this is a Dermalogica Hyaluronic Ceramide Mist. I've been really good. Well, maybe slacked off a little bit the last few days, but I've been really good about like actually doing my skincare. Even though it's still like very simple, I feel like actually taking the time to add a serum just for whatever it may be makes the biggest difference. Taking it down on my neck, of course, and on my hands. And then I kind of just let that like sink in. Um, on the agenda later this afternoon, my boyfriend and I are actually going to go look at some houses or apartments, one house, one apartment, just to have a little look fee, start the process of like actually trying to find somewhere. It's funny, I'm like in my brain, I'm like, what if we got it? Like, am I prepared to just like, yeah, go? I don't know. So that is super exciting. This is what I've gone for. I'll probably wear this to the actual like inspections because I feel like it says responsible. <laughs> I've never gone to a house inspection before, like a rental inspection. So I'll wear like a this little matching shirt set moment. I feel like this says I'm not a child. <laughs> also, please comment down below any natural deodorant recommendations because native don't actually ship to Australia anymore. And I don't have any left. Um, I've been using, I know there's heaps on the market, and I kind of want to give wild a try, like wild deodorant. I do find though that some natural deodorants or like, I don't know if I consider this a natural deodorant. This is by Dove, but it's got zero aluminium. I don't know if it would be considered like natural natural, but it's got no aluminium, which is the, the one that I look for. It can make my armpits like break out. Whatever ingredient they're putting in it to like maybe compensate for the fact that there's no aluminium in there is making me break out, but I don't, I don't know. Plus, I feel like I sweat a lot with that one, which is not out of the question because you're not like plugging your pores to stop you from sweating. It's a little bit uncomfortable to be like sweating profusely, but it's all right. But yeah, let me know if you have any recommendations. Okay, change of plans. We ended up having to move, well, the inspection was canceled and moved to tomorrow. So that's what we're gonna do. So we subsequently have moved the other inspection to tomorrow as well. I've just been doing a lot of editing, computer stuff. Some samples are actually coming this week, which would be good to have a look at. I also really wanna get some steps in. I feel like I'm really bad with hitting 10,000 steps a day. It definitely helps with like when you're in a cut, if you are looking to drop like body fat. Even though I do go on my runs and stuff, I do tend to just sit a lot of the day especially if I'm editing and I don't naturally get 10,000 steps like some people might get that easily just with their job but I am sedentary most of the time I've also been considering getting like a sitting standing desk and like a walking pad because that would help so much with steps it's also better for you like sitting down all day is not great for my back yeah I really want to get better at hitting the 10,000 steps regardless if I do a run or not so my boyfriend's really good at hitting his steps he's very like adamant with it I think so far I'm at only 2,800 and it's 3 p.m. So I definitely should go on a big walk this afternoon. I think I'm going to wait a little longer because it's not quite the sea thing yet. We ended up looking at two places. It's funny, we kind of thought that we would really like the second option and really be a bit underwhelmed by the first option, but it was kind of the other way around. Like we really, really liked the first option and the second option we were kind of like, oh, not really what we expected. So yeah, I'll insert some clips of us touring the apartment. It was so big. Like I honestly was like, this is like the size of my house. <laughs> Like I had a really big balcony, really, really good location. Not gonna make any moves yet. 
but it was just really really nice to like kind of be out there inspecting places regardless of whether or not we're gonna go for it it's just like getting in the movement of it it is a bit crazy though because it's very competitive it's very expensive but that is all part of the process so yeah that's exciting first couple inspections done it was a very like exhausting thing i feel like i get what i mean when people say like it's such a tiring thing like inspecting places but all in all it was a good experience so that was great but i'm gonna end this vlog off here so thank you so much for spending a few days with me this video originally started out as like a morning routine and it just kind of turned into a bit of a spend a few days with me so i really want to start filming more like what i eat in a days because i really love watching that type of content and i think i steer away from it because i worry that i'm going to trigger people when it comes to food but that's really what i want to do and that's like a big part of what I'm about I don't know like fitness and health and everything and I'm in a I'm in a fat loss phase at the moment so I feel like it can be helpful to document that anyway I hope you guys are having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world and I will see you in my next one bye